Hi, I'm Davey, and I'm awesome. And welcome to Davey's Awesome Stories, where I tell funny stories from my past or go on a rant in an effort to make you laugh. This week, it is a rant. So, to let you guys in on a little bit of myself, I am actually dyslexic. They found out I had dyslexia when I was in fourth grade, and of course, knowing that is how I was able to learn how to get around it. But one thing I could never stand in school, before fourth grade, even after fourth grade, was when I would have trouble spelling word, because especially being dyslexic, my spelling is atrocious. I am not good at spelling things at all. Even things I've spelled many times before, sometimes my brain will mix it up and I'll start forgetting how to spell it for a second, and I have to stop and think. But especially when it's a long word that I can never spell. Like, I really hope that the situation never happens, that somebody holds a gun to my wife and kids and says, if you want them to live, spell pseudonym. I'm going to look at them and say, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss you. In this day and age, if it wasn't for autocorrect and Google, I would never spell anything correctly. But the thing that irritated me about it the most, the thing that really, really just cheesed me off, is how often I would tell a teacher, I'm having trouble spelling a word, and they would look at me and say, well, just sound it out. Yeah, their response every time was the same. That's all you have to do? Just sound it out. Every single friggin' time I couldn't spell a word. Just sound it out. Let's make something very clear. The English language is, what's a delicate way to put this? Stupid. There are so many things in the English language that make absolutely no sense. I feel bad for people who did not grow up speaking the English language who have to learn how to speak it. Especially because, frick, most of us who grew up here speaking English are not very good at it either. Don't believe me? Listen to my brother speak for a while. <laughs> There are so many words that mean the exact same thing and are said different ways, even though they're spelled the same way. And when it comes to spelling, there are so, so many words that sounding it out would never, ever help you figure out how to spell it. Like, as a little kid, there was no amount of sounding it out that was going to tell me there was a K in knee. Or knife. No amount of sounding it out would have told me there was a P in pterodactyl. Well, those letters are silent. Then why have them in there? Okay, if that stupid letter is just going to hang out and be lazy, then get it out of there! Like what, did K just not have enough to do? And one day came along and was like, Hey, me, how's it going? I'm uh, just going to hang out in front here if you don't mind. And poor me was just sitting there going like, Well, um, I don't know if that's going to work, K. I mean, we're spelling me, not k me. Well, don't worry. I'll stay quiet. Is that how it happened? Because that theory is as sound as any other one I've heard. And then the P in pterodactyl. Why did P need to be in pterodactyl? What? It wasn't hoarding in on F words? Like psychic, psycho, psychology, phone? Oh yeah, another one that irritates the crap out of me. Because that's not even a silent letter. That's two letters that you combined to make the sound that we already had from a letter. F. Why do PH make an F sound? That doesn't even make sense. P makes a p sound. H makes a p sound. So that would be p, -h -h, not p. -h. And why do that in the first place? What did we need it for? We already had a letter that could have taken care of it. We could have spelled phone f o n e, and it would have been just fine. And one less letter to write. Same with photography. But no, apparently both P and H did not have enough to do. So they got together and said, "Hey, let's take over that one. That's two doing the work of one." And then X. X, one of the most useless letters in the alphabet. What sound does it make? X. The only sound it makes is itself. And yet somehow it ends up in a lot of words and names. Apparently, the letters got together, were mad at X because X isn't pulling its weight. X is just sitting there spelling nothing but X-ray. So they were like, hey X, you're not really chipping in properly. You're not contributing enough there, X. So from now on, you spell Xerox, and you spell Xylophone. P and H are going to help you with that last one. And X was just sitting there like, ugh, fine. Anything else? Yeah, we've also decided as far as names go. You spell Xander, and you spell Xena. And poor Z, that doesn't do a whole lot, is sitting around going like, well, what about me? I could spell those. I mean, come on, it's not like I do much. How many other words do I spell? Zero? And again, makes no sense though, because not in a million years, just sounding it out, am I gonna know how to spell xylophone or Xerox? 
xylophone especially, because sounding it out, I'm going to think there's an F in there. Which brings us to the actual words that make absolutely no sense in how they're spelled. The biggest one being baloney. Starting out spelling baloney, you can sound out a little. Like you're just sitting there like, okay, sound it out. B, off to a good start. O, I would think an A, but an O might work. L, of course. O, yeah, definitely. O, now we've definitely got to put an N there, right? G, in baloney? In, in no word does G make a N sound. It just makes a G. It's not baloney. It's baloney. N. Oh, okay, so I guess we're just going to let the G be silent, right? So, naturally, E-Y or just Y or something. Maybe I-E? A. That doesn't spell baloney. That spells bolinga or bologna. Or who knows what the hell that spells. Those letters should never be in the same word together. Well, that's baloney. No, it's not baloney. You know what's baloney? How you spell the word baloney. That's baloney! And that's not the only word like that that makes no sense. Like the word kernel. Now, if we're talking about like a popcorn kernel, that makes sense. K-E-R-N-E-L. That all makes pretty much good sense. I mean, you could replace the K with a C, but then again, I'm okay with that because C is already copying K and S sometimes, so forget C. But when we're talking about a colonel, like an army colonel, or Colonel Sanders, C, okay, O, not following you, L, really not following you, O, really not following you, this isn't making any sense, N, yeah, finally you put that in there, E, same with that, L, that doesn't spell colonel, there's no R in it. There's no R sound in it. L doesn't make an R sound, ever does it make an R sound. So I'm sorry, but the only way I can imagine that colonel ever did actually become the spelling for colonel was it was a colonel. A colonel who, like me, is very bad at spelling and just wouldn't let it go. His troops were telling him, like, sir, that doesn't spell colonel, that spells colonel. No, boys, that spells colonel. Sir, I'm telling you, that really doesn't spell colonel, that spells colonel. Listen here, son. If I say it spells colonel, it spells colonel. Trust me. I'm the guy who decided how to spell baloney. And because he was a colonel, his troopers just went with it and it stuck. Again, maybe that's not the story of how it came to be, but that theory is just as sound as any other. So to sum up, our language makes no sense. The way we spell things makes no sense. At all. But it's not too late to fix it. We can fix it. We can tell K and P and all the other silent letters, hey, if you're going to be quiet, go away. You're not just going to hang out, do nothing, and take credit for it. Go home. Knee will now be spelled N-E-E. -E. Knife will be spelled N-I-F-E. -E. And pterodactyl, well, I can't spell the rest of that anyways, but the P is gone. We can tell X, hey, you spell X-Ray and Xavier. That's it. Get over it. Z needs more stuff to do. We can fix the spelling of baloney to where it actually spells baloney. And we can tell that colonel, hey, you've retired, you were wrong, that's not how you spell colonel. And we can tell PH, we don't need you to do F's job. F is perfectly capable of doing their job by themselves. And if you don't like it, then you can go pahuck yourself. So there you have it. That's a rant this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notifications for when I post new videos. And leave a comment. Throw out some other words that make no freaking sense that I forgot to mention. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.